Bridget Bartlett here with Visual Marketing and Design, and today we are live inside of our team training where we are live Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to integrate your Google My Business account with your high level account, okay? So you can see on the launch pad here, uh, this is the main place that you want to come to first to make sure that you've integrated everything you can integrate to get the most out of your high level account, okay? All you have to do once you have a Google My Business account account is click here and you're going to log in with your Google account that you created your Google My Business account on. Okay. Now, if you don't have a Google My Business account, you could just go to google.com forward slash business. And it's actually called Google Business now. Um, I guess even though it's always been called Google My Business. Um, but you can see that uh, just in case you don't have one, I'm just going to quickly go through this with you. Uh, we're not going to go through the whole account creation. There's lots and lots of training on that online, but it's pretty straightforward. And the purpose for a Google My Business account is you want your business to show up in Google searches. If I'm looking for a plumber and they do not have a Google My Business account, they're not going to have a listing, which means they're not going to show up in my uh, selection of plumbers in my area, but also they're not going to have any way to collect reviews or, you know, you see that there are different options here. You can actually call directly from Google My Business. Um, lots of things. And actually Google will reward you for more reviews. Okay. So even if you don't have any SEO on your website and, and you ha are not running paid ads, if you have more five-star Google reviews than any other business in your niche, in your area, when someone is searching for marketing agency near me or plumbers near me, uh, it's going to search for those businesses with the highest reviews in that area. And then it's going to show those first. Okay. And typically customers will do that. That, and they will choose from the top of the list and start working their way down to make their buying decision. Okay, that is the typical customer journey. So you can see all of the options that you can add there. It's kind of like a, almost like a, a social profile for your business. Okay. And you can add images here. Um, you can even um, add your you know, directions to your business and your hours of operation, which is really important as well when people are making buying decisions. Uh, you can also showcase any of your products. You can actually do the order pickup or order delivery if you are a restaurant. So you have lots of options. You can also track the um, performance on your website. So like how many visitors are actually landing there each day. So lots of use for having a Google My Business account, okay? The most important thing is the listing and the ability to capture those reviews, okay? You can see this is my actual Google Business listing. You can see here that it showed me um, on this website that I've had 249 views this month, which are organic traffic. Uh, you can also, once you've created your Google listing profile, you'll see all of these options here when you search for the business, okay? And if I was a customer making this search, I would see these options. You'll see that, you know, we have 40 uh, Google reviews, five-star reviews. You also can showcase your phone number. You have options here as well to um, edit your profile, read the reviews. Um, you can also, they can message you through Google My Business. And you can see here, because I have my account created or integrated with high level, that um, it actually says here, here, check lead connector to respond to your customer messages because those messages then go into high level once it has been integrated. Okay. Now um, you can also add the calls. Okay. So when you create your phone number inside of high level, you can add that to your listing like I have done here, and then it will track all the calls and the recordings and all of those things using that phone number as well. Okay. So lots of uses there for the Google My Business. Okay, I do want to say hello to Ray and Maria and Linwood. Thank you so much for joining. So I created this, uh, you know, there are some things that I can't show when I'm live, but I created this presentation to kind of go through with you. Why do you need Google My Business integrated with your high level account? Okay, that is the big question because it's a standalone product. What, what benefits do you get for integrating it with high level? Okay. 
So you can see here that in the conversations tab, every time you get a review, it's going to show up here so that you can respond. Okay. So this, again, this is pulling all of your conversations, everything that you need to do on a daily basis with your customers will show in the conversations tab. Okay. And we talked yesterday about the, um, the text messages and emails and Facebook messages and all of those things going into the conversations tab. Also, your Google My Business messages will go in conversations as well as the reviews. Okay, so you can see um, lots of good use case there. All right. So another another benefit is you can actually automate the um, the follow up when someone messages messages you on Google My Business. Okay, you can actually create some really advanced responses based on keywords and things um, to automatically respond to the customers messaging through Google My Business. Now, if you're you're an agency owner, I'm sure you understand um, automation is awesome. So if Bob the plumber hired me to, um, you know, manage his Google reviews or, um, you know, his account, then I definitely want to automate a lot of these processes so that Bob the plumber is not having to respond to all of these himself. But also Bob the plumber thinks that I am sitting here responding to all of his customers. So he is really impressed with all the things that he does not now have to do because we have automated that through high level or if you are the plumber set up your responses here it's really simple to create that way you don't have to be managing your google my business or you don't have to be missing customers when they are trying to contact you another benefit is tracking your calls so when you analyze the um, when you add that phone number there that you've created in high level and you add that to your listing, you'll be able to tell, you know, how many calls in your business are actually being answered and missed, how many first time callers, what's the average duration. You also have access to some uh, data down here as well. Um, and then um, even the recording of the call. So it really helps you to understand what is going on in your business. You know, how many calls are you receiving? Maybe if you're receiving a massive amount of phone calls, you want to look into that and see how can you streamline that process so that you're not actually paying someone to answer the phone all day long, okay? Another benefit is the reputation management. So since it is integrated with your high level account, you actually have a dashboard here that will help you manage all of your reviews. Okay, so how many reviews are you or your team actually sending out? You know, reviews are really important. So how many are you, how many requests are you sending out? Because obviously not every request that you send out is going to leave a review. So you want to send out as many requests as possible so that you are building up those reviews. And if you do get a negative review, the more positive reviews that you will receive will outweigh the power of that negative review. Okay. So, uh, lots of benefits there. All right. Um, the next thing here is the ability to request reviews. Okay. So we were talking about how awesome it is to be able to track all of that, but you can also, um, just click this button here and request reviews. And then you can see of all the reviews I've had, I have some blurred out here, but of all the reviews that you've sent, you can tell how many were sent and how many were opened. So, you know, um, you know, if they actually opened it and maybe just declined to uh, leave the review. Um, the next thing is the uh, obviously the review section. So if you want to go through here and maybe you have a VA or a team member working for you inside of your business and their job is to respond to the reviews, instead of giving them access to your whole Google account, you can just give them access to your high level account and they can actually search through here by uh, the network or minimum rating, uh, the max rating, and then even add filters for the start date, you know, if they're looking for something something specific. Um, the next thing is to showcase your reviews. So when you pull, when you integrate your Google reviews into your high level account, you actually can go to your website builder and you'll see the element here on the right hand side of reviews. And when you pull that in, it's going to embed that review element directly into your website. So you don't have to worry about integrating anything. Um, if you are not a techie person, this really does not get much easier than that. Okay. So, um, um, those are the benefits, but let's actually talk about the settings now inside of your high level account. Okay. So if you go into your sub account and you go to reputation management, you're going to have to go to the settings and then go to reputation management. You'll see here that 
you can actually generate a link, okay? So this would be like a standard link that you can give out to anyone that you want to request a review. You can also click here to send to a customer. So if I wanted to send this to um, someone in my contacts list, I can pull that up there and then I can see all of the um, my contacts and their contact information, okay? And then of course, if I was choosing um, Bridget Bartlett, Let's say that I was choosing this. It will pre-populate the phone number and then I can send that review invite, okay? You can also customize what that looks like, okay? So you can um, choose the request behavior, okay? Do you want to, um, when the request button is clicked, do you wanna send immediately or do you wanna follow a custom review request? So maybe you want to kind of like batch them, right? Like every morning, every time we, you know, one of my team members would click this to send a review. Maybe we want to wait until the next day at 9 a.m. and then send our review requests. Okay, so that's kind of what that option would be. You can also uh, send text review requests and you'll see here is a little sample of what that looks like. You can toggle this on to add an image like I did and what I did is I just went to Canva and then I created a GIF here just to make it a little bit more, you know, snazzy, I guess, to stand out a little bit better. If you don't want to send a, a text, you can just toggle this off. Um, but you can add your image here and then you can also send a message here and it will display to show you what it looks like or what it will look like rather. Um, you also can send review requests if you'd rather instead of text messages, you just toggle that on there. Uh, and then you can add a subject line and it will show you the preview. So you can change this. So my subject line would be, how did we do? The heading here, that would be the subject of the email. And then the heading here would be, would you be so kind to leave us a review? And that's what's going to populate this area here. And then you could also change the message. So if you would recommend us to your uh, friends and family, would you mind leaving us a five-star review? And you'll see that that text is here. Um, on the button, it says positive answer, absolutely. So you can change that. And then it will also um, populate this information with all of your business info as well, okay? So that is how you can customize what that looks like. Now, down here, you'll see the um, review widget that I just showed you where you can pull into your website and you can also customize this as well. So if you want to add um, a different title here, like you'll see, I added client testimonials, you could, um, and that's what's gonna populate here. You could say reviews, you could say maybe patient reviews or, um, you know, what are, um, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, you can also change the title and the rating colors and the background color and make it more customized. If you are um, the agency owner, you may want, um, you know, to have the disable or the powered by, which is going to say powered by your agency. You can choose to have that toggled on or off. Uh, and if you are not using a high level website and maybe you're using WordPress or you're using another website builder, you can still use this code. Just simply copy the code and you can embed it into a website. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see here with the questions. Um, Let's see, looks like, hello, Floyd. Hello, Yamil. Um, Glenn says, one of my clients asked about SEOs. Can we do that? Um, you can definitely do SEO, but um, this is something just completely different. So uh, if, you, if you have a specific question about that, definitely let me know. Um, I also see someone says, audio not too clear or low, um, slow down a little. You know, some people tell me that and then some people say that um, to speed up. So I would suggest if I'm talking too fast for you, use the video controllers on wherever you're watching because it's a lot easier for you to control your video than it is for me to control the way that I speak. So um, definitely a suggestion there. Um, okay, so that is really the basic rundown of all of the benefits of having your Google My Business account connected to your high level account. Okay, so there's so, so much power inside of high level. That's why this week I wanted to go through the launch pad and just show you all of the benefits of going through the launch pad, taking the time, getting things connected. That way, when you are ready to start getting leads for your business, you know that you are set up for success. McCall 
Mills says, awesome. Thanks. Meeting with a business owner who never understood the value of Google My Business. This is great stuff to share. Awesome. I'm so, so glad. And um, McCall, actually, if you want this presentation, um, I will definitely uh, reach out to me and I'll, I'll give it to you as well. Um, so thank you all so, so much for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality. Before you go, if you have questions, join us for open office hours starting right now at BridgetBartlett.com. See you there.